In this episode we will go through the settings panel and look at each section in turn and explain exactly what each section does. At the top of the page is a list of commanders that Ed Discovery has read from your journal files. As Elite Dangerous runs it writes to the journal folder. The journal folder is located in your saved games location in your user profile. Each time Elite runs it writes a new log file. You can see the log file on the right which contains events. It's these events that Ed Discovery reads to present to you in the history pane of your main tab. By reading the logs Ed Discovery has discovered these commanders. To view a commander click on the commander and hit edit. Here you can configure your commander. The top section has a setting to allow you to change the journal location where Ed Discovery reads the journals from. This should normally be blank and is only used if you're trying to run Ed Discovery from a different computer than the one that you're running Elite Dangerous on. The next section covers the EDSM configuration. Here you can enter an EDSM commander name and API key to allow you to sync your data to and from EDSM. The next section allows you to configure if you wish to send data to the EDDN network. The EDDN network feeds sites such as EDSM, Inara and EDDB with information on the galaxy. It's highly recommended to turn this on. You can also configure the Inara section to allow you to tell Ed Discovery to send events to Inara to keep your Inara account up to date. Below that is a click to allow codex data to be sent to the IGAU player group. Finally at the bottom is configuration items relating to the 3D map allowing you to configure a home system and whether or not the map opens on a history grid selection or the home system. You can configure the map zoom and you can configure the map's travel path colour. You can obtain an EDSM API key by clicking on your commander in EDSM and clicking on API key. You can obtain an Inara API key by clicking on settings in Inara and clicking on Inara API. Back to the main settings panel we will now go through the rest of the settings. The theme section is covered in the EDD video UI and themes. The history section allows you to control the order of row numbering in the history panel. It also allows you to configure the time display throughout the whole of EDD whether or not you display UTC, local time or game time. The web server section will be covered in a separate video on the Rockat style grid that EDD can serve to your tablet. The interaction section sets the key which you use to make transparent windows activate again. The memory section allows you to control how much memory EDD will take to read the history in. If you have a very large history then you may want to use this to control the amount of memory that EDD takes. The entries to read drop down controls what date you wish to apply the cutoff to whether you want it disabled or you want it to be 7 days or more older or 30 days or more older etc. The essential entries control what happens past that date i.e. whether or not nothing is loaded before the date you have selected or if certain events are loaded. For the minimum amount of memory used by EDD select nothing and select seven days old. Note that the number of panels you have open also affects the amount of memory EDD uses. The next section allows you to automatically convert the screenshots that Frontier save to your picture folder and convert them into another format which are much more compressed than the BMP files that Frontier write. You can configure if the screenshot converter is enabled, if you want the original BMPs to be removed after conversion whether or not if you do an alt F10 high res capture you want them actually marked in the file name and you can automatically copy the pictures to the clipboard. To further configure it hit the configure button. The screenshot configuration dialog allows you to set the folder that Ed Discovery is scanning to find the new BMP files. This folder will be different between if you run Elite using the Steam launcher or the standard Frontier launcher. The Frontier launcher writes BMP files. If you capture using Steam it writes a different type of file. 
You can then configure which folder to store the converted pictures in. It doesn't have to be the same folder as the picture file which Steam or Elite writes the file to. Further, you can configure the format which you write the converted file in. You can then configure whether or not the subfolder inside the converted folder is used. The subfolder can organise your pictures into different categories by date or system that you're in. Then you can configure the file name it's used, whether or not you use the system name with date or the date or the original file. And below it, it gives an example of what the file name will look like. Finally, you can decide to resize or crop your images which are captured. Elite Discovery will write up to three images, the original converted image and two cropped or resized images. To see your converted image, you can use the screenshot panel. Click on plus and then click on screenshot. When a screenshot is captured using F10 or the Steam Capture button, which is normally F12, Ed Discovery will show your screenshot. The next section is EDSM EDDB control, which is covered in another video called EDSM. The Windows Options section allows you to first configure if Ed Discovery is minimized, whether or not it minimizes to the taskbar or the notification area. The third option allows you to configure whether or not Ed Discovery redraws the screen during resizing. Leave that normally enabled unless you have a very slow PC. The fourth option enables you to keep Ed Discovery on top of all other windows. And the final option allows you to sort the panel list alphanumerically instead of by group. The panel list is presented in the plus tab and it's also presented in any panel list drop down. The next section allows you to configure what language Ed Discovery presents itself in. Users of Ed Discovery have translated the program into various languages. Please select one of these languages and then reboot Ed Discovery for it to take effect. The final section allows you to reboot into safe mode. Click the button to boot into safe mode which allows you to do special operations such as moving the system database or resetting the UI. This concludes the tour of the settings panel. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more EDD videos. So for now I say bye bye and fly safe commanders.